Also continuing coverage tonight, we are live in Cock County after an overturned propane truck caused some trouble for police and residents in one East Tennessee community. Now, authorities have stopped the truck from leaking propane, and people in the area were told to leave their homes because of the strong fumes there. That evacuation order now has been lifted. Six on your side reporter Dominic Webster is there at the scene with more on the crash this evening. And Dominic, you've spent time talking to people about the moments leading up to that incident. Scary situation for them. Yeah, Lori, I've been out here all day, and as you just mentioned, that evacuation order has been lifted. However, there's still four homes that people can't return to. All they can do now is go there, get their medicine, get some food, get their dogs and cats, and leave again and go elsewhere. As you can see behind me, there's still a very active scene. You can see cop cars, fire trucks, and even a couple of propane tankers down there still. Uh, but Route 340 here in Cock County remains closed at this time and will be closed for the next couple of hours. And residents here telling me that they've never seen anything like this. I have, we have never had an accident like that. Dwayne Mason has lived on this road for 52 years and says he knows the driver well. I, I know the young man that uh, drives the truck. He comes through here all the time. As safe a driver as you'd ever have in your life. I've known the boy since he was in school years ago. Mason was at his chicken houses when he was told about the crash. A neighbor called me and said there was an explosion at my house. And I thought it was something of mine uh, and I came down and when I pulled into the driveway I saw that it was a wreck. There were tons of emergency officials on hand to make sure the controlled burn didn't get out of hand saying that this will burn for a while. It's gonna be easier for us to burn off so they said it could be the burn off could be anywhere from 10 to 12 o'clock tonight because it ain't pressurized anymore the truck has a pump on it so when it's pumping that's what pressurizes it the tanks just laying there now so it's not pressurized so it's just kind of it's gonna take a while to burn off. Now, those residents also make, wanting to make sure that the driver is okay, obviously well known in this area. And as I said earlier, this section of 340 is still closed and will be closed until it is determined safe for drivers to go down and through this section. Reporting live in Cott County, Dominic Webster, WAT6 on your side. Dominic, thank you. We're going to keep you updated, by the way, throughout the evening.